Hi Dave, um, this is Mike. Um, I just switched my my uh, YouTube login to Golf Ace 1965, which is kind of where um, I'm going to put my smoke videos and uh, any golf videos I put together. Anyway, I wanted to do this quick uh, video uh, questionnaire for you. Had a couple of uh, questions that I wanted to see if you could answer for me. Uh, by the way, I'm the guy that bought your, uh, your um, I think it was a Savinelli uh, poker uh, just recently. Can't wait to get that one in. I'm smoking a Savinelli uh, Mpau, um right now. So with some, um, let's see here, Davidoff uh, Royalty. Uh, very mild, laid back smoke. I kind of like it. Anyway, back to the uh, the, the questionnaire. Um, tin versus bulk. I just showed that that uh, I was smoking some tin tobacco, and I feel that the quality seems to be a little bit higher than what you get out of the bulk uh, tobacco shops. Um, wanted to know what your your feeling was on that. Do you find the similar you know? Um, quality issues with the bulk tobacco or um, you haven't experienced that. If you could uh, let me know uh, how you feel about that, I'd appreciate it. Um, also, I just got this morning, I think I had shown it before, which I love. Um, I love how the, the unfinished wood absorbs. You can see how it absorbs the oils from your hands um, and color it slowly. It's beautiful. I mean, there's kind of the original color there, and then you got the, the oils filling in the grain there, um, which I just love. Um, why are they so cheap? Um, they, I can typically find them online for around uh, $60, um, but they're pretty good smoking pipes as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I've only smoked a little bit, but it's it's working uh, out quite well. I'm just wondering why they're the prices are so depressed. Um, and what I've also noticed with the the, the Nording that I have and, and the ones that run online is they uh, typically run with a slightly deeper chamber and a wider dynamic diameter, about uh, one inch and then uh, wide and about. Um, Right around, you can get them as deep as two inches, but you know, one and three quarters, one and a half um, on the on the uh, free hands. Um, does that alter the smoking experience uh, for the person using that pipe, that size bowl? Um, I'm just curious. Is it just an issue of reloading uh, the tobacco more often or less often uh, using a, 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 a you know, larger bowl. Um, if you could comment on that, that'd be appreciated as well. The fact that I am breaking in this this Nording right now, um, I haven't experienced a full bowl of it, and I'm just wondering if, in fact, when I do fill it up, are, are there different precautions I need to take with the larger bowl? I mean, this one is pretty small, as you can see. Let me see if I can grab this. Whoops, there we go. You can tell that they're, they're, you know, there's quite a bit big difference there. And I know that um, was it Pipe Friend CHS. I watch a lot of his videos as well. He's just kind of a crazy guy. Um, he loves those big pipes. And and um, and uh, I don't know if you you smoke them, but uh, if you could comment on whether or not it does change the smoking experience, that sort of thing, I'd be appreci uh, appreciate it. Also, thanks a lot for your comments about my. Uh, response video and uh, yeah that's my first foray into YouTube at all um, hoping to make more videos and um, and thank you for your for your comments I appreciate it uh, well I'll wait for a response thank you very much and uh, talk to you soon bye